Alrighty, hello again guys. I'm back with a video on... It's basically just me defeating the chemical dropout. Um, for this video, I mean for this fight, I'm gonna be using an enhanced practice sword. And I'm at level 15. My character skills, I basically don't have any of them invested in fighting. And I have equipped with me the traditional hat that she gets from the Amber Island cave and just to some stuff that I managed to pick up along the way and also a bunch of items um, the bacon fish roll and the spicy fish soup that I won from fishing day I'm gonna be using those tasteless broth bread the meat I've you know pretty much racked up from <laughs> killing llamas and snake berries that I got from picking them up and playing against Isaac. Isaac? Isaac. Let's go with Isaac. And I think it will also be helpful to know that I do have furniture invested in my house, but it's mostly just for health and stamina. So these are pretty much my stats. And now we're going to go ahead and fight the chemical drop out. So in the beginning of this fight, yeah, th that is pretty much going to be most of what he, his attacks are going to be like. And what you should pretty much do is just hit him as hard as you can and dodge roll in time to get away, f you know, to not get hit. So obviously I dodged roll pretty late. Uh, I keep dodge rolling late. But yeah, and also use one of these bacon fish rolls. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to get the timing right. There we go. And pretty much just repeat this. I think this goes on for like... That was early. This goes on until he's like at 50% of health. Oh, I keep dodge rolling at the wrong time. But yeah, my health is pretty low. So I'm just like gonna eat. What does this do? Oh no, wrong one. Which one does health again? Oh, so I guess this is the only one I have for health. Um, bring, bring herbal, the herbal stuff with you. That's all I have. Why can't I dodge roll in time? I swear, I'm better than this. There we go. And, um, you yeah, know, just keep at it until he's... We're just gonna keep at this until he, his attack pattern changes. Oh, there, another late one. I mean, if you're really clumsy, you can obviously err on the side of caution and dodge roll pretty early, but you won't be getting as much hit hits in there, of course, so this is where his... There we go. And you have to roll in time of his shots. Those hit pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. So you want to <laughs> pretty much just keep rolling when, while he's firing. And he has another attack as well that he hasn't been using yet. I don't- come on use your other attack because I need to show people. His other attack is pretty much the best for getting damage and not gonna lie. But he's not using it and it's annoying me right now. Actually, I think I know how to get him to use it. There we go. Why aren't you using your other attack? God, he won't use it. But yeah, his other attack is just a steady stream of that. Oh my, yeah, that one, the steady stream. Great, he used it. So, um, what you want to do while he's doing that is stay under him and just keep hitting him. It's pretty easy and that's pretty much the best tip that I can give you. Oops, I thought I was going to die. But yeah, that's pretty much the best tip that I can give you the first time that you fight him. The best thing is that you get these casual clothes and you get more stamina and defense and don't forget to open up <laughs> these crates before you go 
they contain some galls, sometimes yeah, old parts, dried apple slices, really just, yeah, there we go, really useful things and really, really make sure that you bring a lot of stamina and health items. I remember I did, you know, I did this fight once and I didn't have any stamina items with me and I just had to let it go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay close and stay close when he's firing and try to get the timing of your dodge rolling right. That's the best tips that I can give you. And you don't, I mean, I'm at level 15, which is pretty much the recommended level for this, you know, level one of hazardous ruins. And you really need to do this because it's, I, in my opinion, it's the, you know, easiest way to get your small engines for your DD, DD transports. But yeah, and you also get these small silicone chips and other stuff and other stuff. And really, you, you want better equipment. But it's pretty straightforward and I'm sure at a lower level, you know, level 13, you can already do this. Just get your timing right and be sure to bring a lot of these. You don't need to buy them, just stock up on whatever you have. And that's pretty much it. And if you found this video useful or if you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate if you press the like button below. If you know, if you have any more ideas, what kind of content you want to see me do on my time at Porsche, I'd really appreciate a comment. And also, if you want to see more my time at Porsche content or maybe more, you know, just more casual gaming content. I really love casual games. Um, I'd really also appreciate it if you subscribed. So I'll see you all next time and thank you so much for watching.